Mmm, yummy. Hello everyone, Buckbeans here and welcome back to Feed the Beast Unstable. I'll be doing a quick voiceover at the beginning here because the audio got a bit messed up due to the insane volume of the rain in Minecraft. So anyways, this is what I have so set up so far for our base. I've used the netherwood and dark stone to get a little structure going on top of this large hill that overlooks where we used to stay which is in a cave down by Frederick and you can also see it's overlooking our little farm as well so I'm not sure whether to leave Frederick down there or attempt to bring him to this hill with us once we move in though with our with the mod animal nets I'm sure we'll be able to give him his own shelter up here by ours to make him a happy cow oh hey nice I got an achievement so I used the crimson iron hammer which is faster than my diamond pickaxe thankfully actually it doesn't say it's faster but I feel like it's faster because you're doing nine blocks at once. But yeah, so there's all these gems here. I broke open a thing of hardened Neverrock and there's all these gems here. I don't know if I have enough inventory space for them, but that's pretty cool. We got this freak, uh, this purple effect back. Uh, I, I remember this in some other episodes. It's like this purple hazy fog. I don't know if that's from the silent gems. It seems like it might be because it just happened while I was throwing gems on the ground. But yeah, you can also make armor out of this and it's a, it's actually 20 armor and it's harvest level 3 and uh, the durability is insane. It doesn't charge the best though. But oh my gosh, now I want to make armor out of that cuz that's insane. I get this. All right. How good is this? armor I guess it's not as good but it looked pretty good it's slightly more durability like just slightly more so I mean I guess this can be a backup all right this is an emergency Fred Frederick is dying and I don't know how he's dying but I'm gonna be like really sad if I wake up sometime and he's like gone uh, do we have any grown weeds? I don't know if you can actually heal cows, but uh, let's try it. I don't know if any of you guys noticed he was dying. I seriously, I don't know how it's happening. No, I, I, I can't heal him. This is like so sad. I, I don't want Frederick to go. Okay, my lad Frederick here should hopefully be protected now. I don't, I don't know where the mobs were coming from, but yeah, that's what we're gonna deal with right now. Maybe I'll just make it safer, like, like this. There's a purple slime over there, and I don't know if I saw them before, but I kind of want to murder it. Just in instinct, corrupted. It's corrupted. Okay, we got this. We have OP jumping armor after all. Jeez, I jump insanely high. Can use these to make more leads if we want to bring any more animals home. So I thought it'd be fun to try to craft the alchemist wand, which it transforms overworld blocks into resources from the nether and end. And that'd be good since, you know, we haven't even found the stronghold yet, so we can't access the end right now. And then there's also various things I still need from the nether, like I know we don't have gas tears since those gosh darn gas tears ended up in lava last time we visited the nether. So that it, I thought it'd be fun to craft, you know, but it turns out that the recipe is not actually functional right now. Like this is from the powder power mod and I'm not sure if it was updated since then since this mod pack has not been updated for a while now. So even though I can't get the prismarine powder I need, I figured I'm still gonna go and find an ocean monument. That's our goal today, to find an ocean monument and get prismarine shards. And it's pretty amb ambitious, but I, I was confident at the time of recording this, right? Uh, but yeah, you can do some cool things with prismarine shards in this mod pack. Like, I know Forbidden Arcanist has a recipe with them. One of the main aspects or recipes in this mod is crafting arcane gold. And that's crafted from a type of dust which requires the crystals. 
and if you beat the end dragon in get dragon scales you can use prismarine shards to create aquatic dragon scales which they look awesome and you make armor out of it which is OP the chest plate has plus 4 armor toughness and plus 12 armor making it much better than diamond so basically what I'm saying is this is not useless I am visiting the ocean monument for a reason even though I have not beaten the end yet because I want just to have prismarine shards and crystals and go on a little adventure try to defeat some mobs I feel like it'll be fun though I realized later in the video that I have a severe disadvantage with my gear setup <laughs> Okay, so I found a little bit of a structure here and I'm surrounded by drowned and they're throwing, you know, tridents at me. I don't exactly have a water breathing potion, so gonna be a little tough here, but I want to find out what they left down there. Also, I'm dying. This dude really be throwing javelins at me at 1% uh, health. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, for real. Oh my god, stop! Oh, my boat! No! He got my boat! Oh my god, my boat! No! Okay, I'm retreating. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he got me from there? Oh my- Oh my god! How? How did that happen? My OP armor. I died in the freaking water. Time to get my stuff back. It, it'll probably despawn by the time I get there. Now let me tell you right now, this is convenient. It, it's just floating on top of the water. Thank you so much, Gravestone Mod. You you saved my life, except uh, now my stuff is under the water. Ah. Uh. Okay, leggings, helmet, more drowned, okay, my chest plate, and my ring, okay, but, ah, please stop, there's one of those dudes up there, I don't know who that is, oh my gosh, please, I should have brought more pasta, this is dangerous. I'm like not ready for this. I don't know where my boots are. I think I think I actually uh, broke my boots. How are they just d this strong? I lag lagging. Okay. Yeah. How are they that strong? I don't know. The world may never know. But I need food. I know that much. And uh, a new boat. I also need a new boat. Okay. I'm going in. Wait. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh! Come on! I'm just gonna- I'm- a, I can't- okay. Really? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to- I'm trying to get away, but please stop hitting my boat. I think I found something. It's down there. It has some lights on it. I'm pretty sure that's uh, what we need. The ocean monument. Or is this a shipwreck? I don't know. It has- it might be an underwater cave, actually, but- it has lanterns on it, so we're gonna see and hopefully not die from the drowned. Get away from me, get away from me. Please get away from me. Uh, can I sink faster? Thank you. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, come on, please, I need air. Where'd it go? No, I need air. I get air, but then I die. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just an underwater cave. It does have some prismarine blocks, which I would like. I would very much like that lantern, but I am not taking a risk, considering I just died twice. I was hoping not to die. 
And you know what? Sometimes I still do anyways. I really need like a bow and arrow. That, w that would be good for those drowned. Alright, hold up. Why are there slimes in the water? These are the corrupted slimes we killed earlier. But why are they in the water? Can they do that? I feel like they're defying like the laws of physics. Like, Because I've never seen slime in water on Minecraft. <laughs> um, that's unique. I'm genuinely questioning whether my game is broken because first we had the slimes spawn on water and now uh, we have a wandering trader right here with dapper llamas and he just died <laughs> uh, the li oh wait no he it's an invisibility potion my bad they they are not dead yet but um, yeah, I have been sailing around so much. I've been like going in circles for hours. But you know, I I do what I do, trying my best here. I am going to find the monument, no matter what. Okay, my inventory may be full of junk, and I may have died twice on my way over here. But I finally see the monument. So we're gonna hopefully not die now and uh, try to kill some of the guardians. I don't know if there's any drown down there. That's my worries because those are OP. But I see I see a guardian right there. Um, I'm just gonna hop in from here. Oh, that's the elder guardian, dude. Alright, I'm here. I got mining fatigue so I can't like go straight into it. Ah, uh, where are you guardian dudes? You're pretty far down, ain't ya? I'll try to kill this one here. I might not be well equipped for this enough. Cause I don't have much armor. <laughs> ah, come on! Retreat! I'm coming back, don't worry. I just... I just need to enjoy my calamari. Okay, I'm going back. I hate how they push you away. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I'm backing up, I'm backing up. Hold on. Oh! Lucian, when you're like me and you're panicking because you're about to die, it just happens that I forgot how my boat worked, how it moved. And I'm just glad I'm not in hardcore mode. Like, imagine that. Honestly, this is just awful. Whose plan was this? This was my plan. Anyways, I have a corrupted slime in my boat. I died literally five or six times trying to get my stuff back because they are ganging up on me and you know there's a slime here and it's I, I got five minutes of mining fatigue so I, I can't even with my mining fatigue I can't even mine my grave so I'm screwed over in that way but you know what I'm, I'm going back I'm, I'm gonna bring some tools some weapons and I'm, and I'm gonna murder those gosh darn guardians Okay, I put on my backup armor, which makes me essentially look like a clown. I have seven arrows, which is not a lot, but I got this cool bow. I just crafted it. I used blueprints. There's, uh, this is my blueprints I used, and then I had to attach tool rods, so I attached the iron rod to that. And I used moldavite, since that has three, uh, three range damage base. And the other, the other gems only had like two range damage. I'm, I'm looking specifically at range damage. But yeah, so that's that. I made some more tools and now we're gonna like go in. I want to get my stuff back and I want to get some prismarine shards. So my plan, I'm going to kill the slimes first. And I realized that I forgot to bring food. Uh, it's not good. 
but uh, here's one of my gravestones. Try to get this. Okay, that's literally just that. All right. Uh, I want I want my pickaxe, please. Thank you. And these bushes, blackberry bushes. All right, I got f I got food, noodles, yay. Oh, I can't eat them. <laughs> I forgot I can't eat them. I gotta make them into pasta, but I don't have enough. Oh, hey, it's my chest plate. Look at that. Um, chest plate. you know, I really don't need these, and these could be like um, a safety, safety area, so I can jump around to get away from the guardians. All right, so that's that. I got a boat. Yeah. All right. Actually, I have two boats because one's over there. We're we're going in. We're already getting attacked. We're going in. Hey, that actually does pretty well, except I missed a shot. But look at that! Look at that! Hey, I want that. What is this? Guardian spine? What can I do with that? Damn, this bow is OP. I'm glad I made this, because it's like so much better. And I see the Elder Guardian's tail like sticking out. But I don't have a water breathing potion because I don't have nether warts or puffer fish. And there's a lot of guardians here. They actually get dangerous when there's that many. Like, it gets actually dangerous. <laughs> As, um, I showed the deaths before, right? What's in here? I don't know. Progress 1%. Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh my god, I dropped my prismarine shards. Because that scared me. Great mending mixture, what's this? Combined with any tool, weapon, or armor in, in, a, in the crafting grid to fully restore its durability. That seems pretty OP, but I need a phantom membrane and dragon's breath. Dragon's breath is going to be the hardest to get. The rest is fine. A gem bag? That'd be nice, because I have, like, tons of gems. I had eye light, uh, an eye light chest plate last time. And I don't think I visited the nether in it, but I can't remember. Anyways, this is the OP one, right? Yeah, that gives me jump boost. So, okay, I think I got the next step. So in order to defeat a ghast, I think the easiest way is going to be with the bow. Since I can't deflect with the katana very well. Like, we're in 1.14, so I can't do the right click thing. I could do it with, uh, I think... Could I do it with the actual sword? Because it had a bigger... This one had a bigger hitbox. So I think I could do it last time with the sword. But I think the easiest way is going to be with a bow. So what we're going to do... We're going to take a small animal net. Which is very cheap. Very, very cheap. Where's our string? A string in the middle. Stone on the edge. We got the small animal net. We actually are going to need two of these. So I'm going to craft another one of these. But these can only pick up small animals. Or else they'd be too OP since they're so cheap. But you know chickens are small. So they're one of the smallest farm animals in the game. So I think it'll be no problem. And then we can set up a chicken farm. And farm for feathers. And then we'll all be all good to go. Defeat some gas. Get the gas tier and start Forbidden Arcanus. And I mean, that's going to give us a lot of things. Like, like this axe has 14 attack damage, but it's end game after you defeat the ender dragon. You can make an arcane dragon egg. No idea what that's like, no idea if it hatches a dragon, but I just love to mess around with it. Alright, so I got a little bit of a farm set up at home, and all we need are some chickens to finish it off so I'm gonna go chicken hunting here I see one right here capture that and as you can see we have a caught chicken shows the age and the mode of the mob so now we just need some more chickens and yeah I'll show you guys the farm when we get home <laughs>
Oh Jesus! I don't I don't want to mess with phantoms right now. Uh, those scared me very much. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna settle on 5 for now, since we're close to home, we're getting attacked by phantoms. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the farm. Alright, here it is. This this big ugly thing is the farm, and it's only ugly because I used cobblestone. But uh, yeah, let's get on top of here. Okay, and then we're just, we're just supposed to place the chickens here. But yeah, so this farm is by Frilioth. I don't know if I pronounced their name right, but it's it was like the first result on Google uh, YouTube and it, it, it was pretty easy to follow. I only had to craft a few things. We basically got it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these chickens in. I guess we could make a carpet first. So I think we're just supposed to Alright, so we have four more chickens, and then we put uh, an observer on top, which I put my observer away, so I'm gonna go grab that. Okay, okay, so one just laid an egg, and the lava's already gone. Eh. Okay, yeah. Oh. Okay, there- I can't tell if it's working! So I think that I should work now. The only problem is I had to use all my nets. So I got a bunch of chickens hanging out here. Okay, my god, that was a pain in the ass, but they're they're here now. So please work. Please work. I'm begging you. Yeah, I think my redstone's broken. So it's still not working and I feel like I tried everything. Like this is my redstone setup. Okay, there's the observer over the comparator. There's an observer here, and it's supposed to be facing this side, so that the redstone is pointing towards the redstone signal here. And then that's the glowstone with the... Uh, this is on top of the dispensers, right? Okay. And then the glowstone has the hopper and the chickens under it, and that's where I'm supposed to put the chickens in. And it, yeah... Like, I, I did that and it killed one. Okay, um, so it works when I do it manually, but it just it won't work <laughs> uh, automatically. So there's something wrong with the redstone up here, but I just I am having trouble figuring it out, and I don't have any uh, just uh, so it's something with the comparator. I swear, something it's on compare mode. should work like that, but it's not... I mean, I'm fine doing it manually, I just wish it repeated. Anyways, I think that is enough for today. We explored an underwater monument and we attempted to make a chicken farm that it didn't exactly work out how I hoped it would. Neither of them really worked out how I hoped they would, but you know, it's progress, it's something. And we are getting there, we are having fun and that's what matters. So thank you so much for watching the video, let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below, especially if it's anything as to what could be wrong with the chicken farm and remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy thank you bye bye